based in near 40. Well, don't forget, Syracuse plays in Brooklyn tonight versus Wake Forest, but maybe you're thinking about going out to watch the game this evening. Maybe you're going to have people over to your house. You're going to somebody else's house. Things are fine before and during the game. After the game, starting at around 9, 10 o'clock, that arm of snow I showed you over Michigan will move in. Now, between around 9, 10 o'clock and about 2 in the morning, 3 in the morning, we'll get some snow. Now, for Central New York standards, this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. An inch, two, maybe three inches or so, that's it. But still, it's some snow. You should be aware of it. Best chance for the higher end amounts would be higher elevations. We get a break again Wednesday morning, and then during the afternoon and evening, that coastal storm, which we'll show you hour by hour in the next storm, and the next, I'm sorry, weather segment, moves towards us. I think at this point, the 81 corridor in Syracuse and most of the immediate central New York area should be on the fringe with new snow about one to three inches Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, perhaps four or five inches for Syracuse at most at this point. But possibly as much as six to 10 inches for eastern central New York, like Utica, Norwich, Morrisville. Look how close the 12 to 18 inches and 18 inches to 24 inches are. Not very far away. So in and of itself, the nor'easter part, Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday night, we have to very carefully watch this to make sure this bullseye doesn't shift another 7,500 miles westward. Right now, I don't think so, but it bears watching. But that's not the end of it. You might think, okay, storm ends, moves northeast into Canada, goodbye. Well, here's the problem. The storm will weaken, but stall in northern New England and southeastern Quebec. And when it stalls, remember storms swirl in a counterclockwise rotation. It's going to bring moisture all the way back in from Canada, cross Lake Ontario. And what do you get? Well, maybe an inch or two Thursday. But Thursday night, I think three to six inches of snow, likely possibly more. There could be as much as double digits if things were to really ramp up. Another three to six inches Friday and some more Friday night. So yes, winter is still here, not just on the calendar. What happened at 75 in February? <laughs> well, that was very unusual. That was so two weeks ago. Well, yes, it's a boy. <laughs> Gotta live in the moment. Yes. That was so two weeks ago. I know. I'd love to see that in another two weeks for St. Patrick's Day. Well, that, that would be, be perfect. Nice. We don't want it to have it too fast because then we'd have right. a lot of flooding. Well, yeah. Snow, right. But right. we'll see what happens. Gradually. All right, Pete.